Inger Britson will jump center. Probably against Morrow. Probably from there. Marcus Howard attacking. Floater in the lane. Around and in by Marcus Howard. As I said, Marcus wasn't going to go too long <laughs> without scoring the he basketball. Wasn't, he wasn't going to work on a jump shot there. He's going all the way to the basket. 16-footer doesn't oh, take it. Now he threw it away. Long pass ahead to Carr, and he'll go to the basket. He will lay it up, and go. he countered in a foul, and it will go against the one I just mentioned, Blake Williams. That's the first transition back in the basket, Tony, from our cap. Not a lot have turned into transition, but this time you get a, a two-on-one. You know, and I'm thinking this has got to be a finish either. He's got to finish it there or, or drop it off to Hauser. But good decision just to take it in, let Howard get the rebound if I miss. Corner Great three, pass. Joey Hauser, good. There's the first three. See how I dialed that up, too? You did. Joey Hauser, the outstanding freshman, okay. making some shots. Joey Hauser, 30 feet away, still way outside the arc. Marcus Howard, a couple of dribbles to the foul line. Further out left, Chartouni. Inside, Joey Hauser, turn, shoot, scores. Oh, he's baseline 10 footer. Damon Kiesk. Two in a row. I think he's heating up officially. Yes. <laughs> Hauser for Hauser. Inside to Matt Held. Doesn't look to score. Back out to Joey Hauser. They stay on the perimeter. Deep in the corner. Bailey can't get the three off. Two, three, four dribbles. Spins, turns, fadeaway jumper around. Oh, yeah. And in. that was impressive. Brendan Bailey's first basket. <laughs> Clary drives baseline. Double team threw it away. Good defense by Marquette. Here's Marcus Howard, fast break. Good Wide numbers. open, Bailey, three in the corner. That's gonna go. It is. There we go. Told you this kid, I like this kid. Made the shot inside and. Yeah, I, think once, I think once he settles down again, yeah. he's got those first game jitters going, especially in the first half. You could see it didn't score. That he did. 68-34 Marquette. Joey Hauser baseline eight feet away. Backing it. Spinning. Turning with the left hand. Wow. Laid it up and in. Wow. Yeah. You're not the only one. <laughs> yeah, he almost went down there. I do like the fact that he was aggressive in the post. You know, I've seen a couple of guys in Marquette get it in the post, not looking to attack when they're played one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's... We will do. Yeah, it's contested, but that's it. Chartuni to a wide open Chartuni. door. He lays it up and in. Counted in a foul. As he was making the shot, Gruber ran into him and just kind of, he didn't grab him. He hugged him. Yeah, well, watch the move by Chartuni to get open and draw, now the, watch. draw the defense. Now, I guess he did run into him and then just yeah. uh, stopped and grabbed it. So he makes it 85-44, nine seconds left. Murata, there it is. he goes to the basket and scores. <laughs> The loudest roll we heard all they night. They were kind of expecting <laughs> him to dribble it out, but so no one guarded him, so he just went all the way to the basket. Cam Murata with the last basket. Well, the guy tried to guard him, but he just went around him. <laughs> he did try to guard him. <laughs> he tried to, yeah. Well, nobody helped out inside. <laughs> yeah, there was no help. There was, they couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't. 87-44, the final on the Cam Murata basket.